Well, on May 15, Fort Collins native Tyler McCandless broke the Colfed Marathon record with an official time of two hours, 21 minutes and eight seconds. Now that right there is huge. He cut nearly three minutes and 30 seconds off the previous event record. Uh, hello. Well, Tyler, welcome back to the show. It's good to have you again. Thank you. It's great to be back. Well, last time you were here, we were talking about you preparing for the Colfax Marathon. We even asked you if you could do like a warm up here, but you were getting ready. So here you are today. What did it feel like to cross that finish line? And did you know you had broken a record? I knew I was I was on track to break it. It gets hard over those last few miles. So mm -hmm. I knew that the finish line was coming. I was really excited to be able to, to stop running after running for 26.2 <laughs> miles. But the crowd, the spectators were phenomenal in that final straightaway. So it was a great experience. Oh, I cannot imagine that feeling. Well, was there a point in the marathon where you realized I got this? This is it. I mean, everything I wanted to do, this is what I'm doing. Or did, do you have no idea in that run? Yeah, like I was pretty confident at halfway at 20 miles. The mm -hmm. confidence just kind of grows. But like in the marathon, anything can happen. You could have a cramp and be forced to walk and, you know, yeah. time can evaporate. So, you know, really once you, you see the final finish line, you, you know you have it. You know, you, you know, it's you. That is fantastic. Well, look, you have competed in three Olympic trials. You now just qualified for the fourth one. That is insane. Congrats. And I'm just curious, what is that process like once you are going to head into those trials? Yeah, so for the Olympic trials, you have to hit a qualifying mark of two hours, and 18 minutes. And I did that at Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Then at the Olympic trials, it's one race. Top three make the Olympic team. And it's a beautiful thing with our sport that you have to prove that you're one of the best three in the country to make the Olympics. So in 2024, we'll have another marathon and I'll give it a go to do the best I can. Oh, and we are going to be rooting for you, which brings me to my next question. Where did this love for running come from? Like, did you know at a young age, did you develop it, develop later on in life? How did it start for you? Soccer. I just wanted to be a great soccer player. And I was like, I should do track in the spring and get in shape for soccer. And then I ran my first mile and broke five minutes and was placing in a dual meet. And I was like, this is really fun. And yeah. I kind of just grew in the love of running. And each season, it became more and more part of my life. And, you know, and that was back in 2002. And, you know, 20 years later, I love it more than I did then. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, I have a question just because I'm really curious here. When you're in that run, is there ever a time where you slow it down? Do you kind of stay even the entire time? When off the get-go, do you kind of sprint? How does it work for you? Yeah, I knew what pace I wanted to run, so I tried to run pretty even. Uh, the last four or five miles, I slowed down a bit. It just, there's a little bit uphill after you go through Empower Field coming back, and I was definitely <laughs> feeling that. Yeah. But uh, you try to run it as evenly paced as you can. Yeah, so are you going to take some time off? What's I know you just became father to another newborn, so that's going to kind of keep you running around, right? Yeah, so <laughs> two, two days after the Colfax Marathon, um, my wonderful wife Kristen went into labor, and we welcomed Jack, uh, our second son, into the world. So I, <laughs> it's been wonderful. Took time off running and just spending time with family, and it's been uh, oh. truly awesome. Well, congrats to you and your wife, and I know you brought your son here this morning to an, oh my gosh, he is adorable. <laughs> and I'm sure they're going to be little runners as well. Well, look, I think during COVID, a lot of people picked up running as a hobby. We saw people outdoors. I mean, you couldn't even get a bike because people were doing so much outside. What advice do you have for runners out there who are maybe picking it up as a hobby or wanting to do it a little bit more on the serious note? Yeah, consistency is key. Like, just enjoy okay. the process. I see too many people get too excited and, you know, they run one mile, they run two miles, and they sign up for a marathon. And it's like, <laughs> all right, let's do one mile, two miles, sign up for the Colfax 5K. Then the next yeah. year, sign up for the half marathon. The year after that, the marathon. And just start enjoying the process. And when you're out there and it becomes part of your daily routine, you're going to love your run every single day uh, or every other day, however you do it. Yeah, what advice do you have to build stamina to, you know, be better at breathing during your run? I'm one of those and I'm like, <gasps> like by the time I hit one mile, but some advice from a pro. <laughs> uh, vary your training a bit. Some days go like very hard and then other yeah. days go easy and you'll start to feel your fitness build and your easy runs will legitimately become more easy uh, and you'll just enjoy the process a lot more. Oh, how fun. Okay, what is your favorite place to run? 
in Colorado? Like what's your go to spot? Go to spot. So Fort Collins has tremendous trails and uh -huh. Horsetooth Mountain right outside of Fort Collins. Some amazing trails that lead up to it. I love running there. And then uh, outside of Rocky Mountain National Park, there's so many trails. So, yeah, really you know, nice. little long weekend, go up the Rocky Mountain, some beautiful places to run. Love it. Well, Tyler, from all of us here at Coco, congratulations. We're going to be rooting for you and be watching to see what is next for you, especially as you head into those Olympic trials. And congrats on a new baby. Thank you. <laughs> you are a busy man. All right, everyone, here is some info for you. Uh, if you would like to run the marathon, if you'd like more information, you can always do so. Um, you can learn more about the Colfax Marathon and the seven races offered. Just go to runcolfax.org and there you have that info.